What a day, what a day, what a day. It is November 30th, 2021, and uh, there was office hours today in the Klima Discord. And um, th there was a lot of, I feel, sentiment of fear, <laughs> uncertainty, and doubt. Uh, not entirely, but certainly from some people. And I just want to address this one statement that I think is responsible for a lot of that fear, uncertainty, and doubt. And keep in mind, this is my personal opinion. This does not reflect any legal advice or any specific stance of any member of the Klima team. This is just slapped and swerve and what I think. Um, and it's my interpretation. And feel free to disagree with me. Leave a comment if you agree or disagree. But I'm going to link this statement. I'm not going to read it all out. Um, what this amounts to for me is Vera saying... Vera is the company that issues carbon credits. If I, like, I'll give you an example, a really crude example. If I plant a ton of trees, I can go to Vera and say, look at these trees I planted. And they can say, cool job, slapped and swerved. Here is a, you've offset a, a carbon ton. Here is a credit for that. Thank you so much. All right, that's the, the transaction. What's going on is those, those, um, those Vera carbon, uh, what are they called? Verified carbon units verified carbon units vcus from vera um are then being put on the toucan into the toucan protocol so they're they're being moved and they're being tokenized essentially so uh there's a virtual blockchain representation of these vcus right the same way if like um you gave me gold and i gave you a piece of paper back that said that says uh you know i owe you <laughs> i'd be holding the underlying asset and the gold and you'd be holding this this synthetic representation. It's the same kind of general concept. There's these VCUs. They are um, then tokenized uh, by these, by these what's called BCTs by Toucan. And so what Vera is essentially saying, as far as I can tell, is we are not responsible for those BCTs. We are not officially um, involved in that. And do not come looking to us if you run afoul of any problems, if you transact in those BCTs. Here's a crude analogy. If a car manufacturer makes a car, it's stock, and uh, a dealership buys it, or an entity buys it, even an individual buys it, and starts modifying that vehicle, did, the dealer could then say, if you do these modifications, we are no longer responsible for the, uh, the vehicle, how it runs. You know, let's say somebody starts screwing around with the intake and they mess it up. They start screwing around with all sorts of important parts, uh, transmissions, exhaust, and the the the, the automaker is going to say, "Well, you screwed around beyond what you should have screwed around. We, you know, we're not responsible for this, uh, or at least you screwed around beyond what we will take responsibility for." Now, is that to say that screwing around with a car by modifying it is always a bad thing? That you will screw it up? No. Does it mean that when you modify a car, that there's no market for it? Obviously not. Some people modify cars for a living. They find out that they can actually add value to the underlying asset by modifying cars. They invest money into it, and it turns out that that they can make money through modifying cars, right? So Vera is not, as far as I can tell, I'm not a lawyer, but I don't think you have to be to understand this, is not putting forth what is called a cease and desist notification. I don't see any language here that expressly says that what Toucan is doing um, is in some way illegal or violates some statute, something binding, and therefore Vera will take some, you know, is demanding they stop under threat of further legal action. It's a completely different game. If that were the case, I would say that that would be significant. It wouldn't mean the end of the world, but that would be significant. Now, here's the part that people are missing out, and. <laughs> Not to sound like a permable, and I, I really try hard not to be. I'm try, I, I try my best to be as objective as possible. But this last paragraph often gets missed. Vera recognizes that there are a growing number of developments in carbon markets, including the establishment of related instruments such as tokens that represent environmental attributes and assets and have the potential to generate climate sustainable development value. This is Vera saying, we recognize that BCT and Toucan exist. Okay, Vera intends to work with new product developers and other market participants to establish transparent, robust, and credible pathways for responsibly associating VCUs with such instruments. Oh my word, that is the opposite, as far as I can tell, of a cease and desist letter. That is Vera saying, 
hey, we know you guys. We see you. We know you're out there, fam. And we would want to work with you to establish transparent, robust, and credible pathways. Now, the devil is in the details. We don't know what that means. L again, I have no inside information beyond what I'm sit reading in this, in, this, in this text. It's just my opinion. Um, but that is my opinion. I'll leave a link to this document. At the end of the day, I think it's good that people are skeptical. I think it's good that people are asking these questions. They're important questions. Keep asking these questions. Keep going into carbon markets uh, in that the Discord subgroup. Ask those guys. They are super. Some of the people in there are super smart about this stuff, super well-informed. They know a heck of a lot more than I do. I've been learning my butt off in, in those, uh, those, those Discord channels. But yeah, keep talking. Keep learning. Keep, but also keep your, reserve your fear and optimism always with projects until you've thought it out logically and have considered both sides. It's rarely best case scenario and it's rarely worst case scenario. It's usually somewhere in between. Suck that carbon, Klima forever, Bidness Pepe, Benjamin Buttons, they out there doing work. Let's go. Peace.